Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a tool <clears throat> that I bought a couple of days ago from a company outside of uh, Roy City. Uh, it is a tool that is going to come in handy when I go to set the idle on uh, uh, the Honda Metropolitan Scooter and just wanted to uh, do an unboxing because I could not find anything. The only useful information I found out there was uh, from my friend Mower Mc uh, Medic one and I'll post a link in the uh, description uh, of this video to his channel. Check it out. <clears throat> uh, he did an overview of the model that he has and in fact that's that's why I went with this model is because it's, it's what he uses and he's a professional technician and just looking at it is exactly what it needs. So uh, let me stop rambling and uh, get this unboxed. All right, like I said, uh, I ordered it from a company out of uh, Roy City. And there's the information right there, their website. So, go ahead and cut this thing open. thing is the manufacturer Echo doesn't even have a lot of information on this tool so if you're thinking about buying one hopefully this video and uh, more medic ones uh, video will help you decide that's a package <clears throat> Set this to the side. All right, it looks like the actual uh, manufacturer is Opama, and it's a Chinese version. But what it is is an inductive style uh, tachometer, and the reason I decided to buy this uh, was one after. Uh, more medic <coughs> one I uh, did a review of the one that he uses uh, and uh, the other is that hooking up a timing light to that uh, scooter <coughs> is almost impossible and along with uh, the other uh, RPM handheld gauges like this weren't really inductive now, I'd say 8 or 9 out of 10 of them required either you physically putting a rotor style uh, tip on uh, your crankshaft pulley and then it counted the RPMs that way or you taped some type of rep reflective tape and it used a photo laser that would bounce back and count. Well, that's not practical for the, uh, the scooter because I'm not going to take, take apart the, uh, the cover just to do that. So. Without further ado, let's uh, take this thing out and see what comes in it. Um, before I do that, let me... <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it's uh, made in Japan. And there's the uh, echo part number. And some other information, if it helps you look it up. Well, let's go ahead and take this thing out. It's got a little strap. And it looks like it comes with an instruction book. <laughs> I'm going to have to brush up on my uh, <clears throat> Japanese. Oh, no, there we go. We've got some uh, English... Uh, for us folks. But there we go. It is the uh, Pulse Engine Tachometer PET 1000R. And there are some specs on it. It is for a, a two cycle or a four cycle engine. <clears throat> so 
So it looks like uh, this clip right here is just an extension, uh, just in case you can't touch this base up against the uh, actual spark, uh, spark plug wire ignition cable. And then we've just got a little uh, lanyard, I guess, so you can hang it. Uh, but I'll, I'll put this in my toolbox. So let's go ahead and look at the actual machine and see if it came with any uh, batteries. Pretty nice. It does fit in the hand uh, comfortably. And of course that's where you uh, touch it up to the uh, inductive wires. I would say it probably does come with batteries because uh, uh, it looks like in order to get to the batteries you have to uh, take these screws out but if you can see that there is the website information and the model number let's see if it comes on hey there we go outstanding well, uh, the next video I'll do will be uh, setting the idle on uh, the uh, 2005 Honda Metropolitan. <clears throat> and um, we'll see how this thing works. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps. And if you have any questions or comments, <clears throat> definitely leave them uh, in the comment section below. And I'll uh, post more pics or uh, answer any questions you have about it. See you guys later.